Hi, welcome to the Numeracy 5 day Answers for the 3rd of May. So if you need help on one particular question, here are the video numbers in corporate maths which might help you. Otherwise, I'm going to go through all the answers now. So our first question. Our first question is a subtracting decimals question. So we've got 4.2 subtract 1.82. And I'm just lining them up in columns, lining up the decimal points. Now we've got 4.2. I'm going to put an extra zero in the hundredths column just so that it's got something there, a bit of a placeholder. So now what we're going to do is we're going to subtract. So zero take away two we can't do, so we're going to borrow. Let's call that one. Carry one over. Ten take away two is eight. One take away eight we can't do, so again borrow from the units and call that eleven. Eleven take away eight is equal to three, and three take away one is equal to two. So four point two take away one point eight two would be equal to two point three eight. Our next question. Our next question says write as a percentage nine twenty fifths. So to write as a percentage, I tend to want to have a denominator of hundred. I want to have a hundred on the bottom. So to go from twenty five to 100 we multiply by 4. So I'm going to multiply the numerator by 4 as well. So 9 times 4 to get the equivalent fraction. 9 times 4 is equal to 36. So 9 25 is the same as 36 hundredths. So that's going to be equal to 36%. Our next question. Our next question is a time question and we've got five songs. Song 1, Song 2, Song 3, Song 4 and Song 5 and we've got the durations in minutes and seconds. And the first question says, how much longer than Song 2 is Song 5? So how much longer than song two is song five? So song two is four minutes and 14 seconds. And we wanna see how much longer it takes to get to five minutes and two seconds. So first of all, I'm gonna to go to five minutes. So to get from 14 seconds to five minutes, because there's 60 seconds in a minute, that would be another 46 seconds. And then to get from five minutes to five minutes and two seconds, we need another two seconds. So altogether, that's 46 seconds and another two seconds, that's gonna be equal to 48 seconds. Okay, now next question. Our next question says, what is the total playing time of songs one and four? So we've got song one, which was one minute and 29 seconds, and song four, which is three minutes and 44 seconds. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to add together the 29 seconds and the 44 seconds first of all, see what that is, and then add on the three minutes and the one minute. So first of all, 44 seconds, plus 29 seconds. Now we need to be careful here because it's only 60 seconds in one minute. So when we get our answer, we'll need to change it into minutes and seconds. So four plus nine is equal to 13. So put the three down, carry the one. And four plus two is six plus one is seven. So that's 73 seconds. So that is one minute because that's 60 seconds. And we'd have another 13 left over. So when we add together the seconds of 29 seconds and 49 seconds, we get one minute and 13 seconds. But we've also got another one minute and another three minutes. So it's another four minutes we need to add on. So our answer would be five minutes and 13 seconds. Okay, and our next question. Our next question says, write down the next two numbers in the sequence below, and we've got to do it for both of these sequences. So let's have a look at this first sequence and see if we can spot a pattern. So we've got 17, 23, 29, and 35. Now looking at the 23 and 29, I think that's adding six. Let's have a look. 17 plus six is 23, plus six is 29, plus six is 35. So we just need to keep on adding sixes. So adding on six, well 35 plus six is gonna be equal to 41. Add another six would be equal to 47. So our missing numbers are 41 and 47. Our next question, it says write down the next two terms below. So we've got 100, 92, 84, 76. Now to get from 100 to 92, we would take away eight. To get from 92 to 84, we would take away eight. To get to 76, we would take away eight. So each time here, we are minus and are subtracting eight. So if we take away another eight, that's gonna be equal to 68. And taking away another eight would be equal to 60. So the next two numbers would be 68 and 60.